Hi everyone and welcome to the first of a series of videos explaining music theory. This series will guide you right from the basics of rhythm and pitch to an advanced understanding of the principles of how to read and write music and why it is written that way. The videos, together with the worksheets, will help you to learn everything you need to know to pass your theory grades. The first lesson is pulse and beats. The tick-tock of a clock is a pulse which separates time into beats, which are each one second long. Each tick of the clock is one beat. Your heartbeat, which is where the terms pulse and beat come from, also has a steady pulse. Pulse is the heartbeat of music. Without a strong pulse, the music loses its life. A pulse splits time up into steady chunks called beats, so that every beat is the same length of time. Can you think of anything else with a steady beat? Pulse is the most basic part of almost all Western music, such as pop, classical, jazz, rock, and so on. Pulse is almost always there, and is felt even if it's not sounded out. It's what you tap your feet to, or dance in time with. Some music, like pop music, has the pulse marked by a drum beat. Listen to the bass drum. It's happening steadily all the time, so we can say that it is the pulse. Others, such as some solos and songs, suggest a pulse without marking it out with an instrument. Here it is again, but this time with the pulse marked out by a metronome. The important thing to know is that a pulse and beats are almost always there, even if we can't hear them. Just like you don't always hear your heartbeat, but it's always there. The pulse of music is generally steady, but can be faster or slower, and can speed up and slow down, and we'll learn more about the speed of the pulse in Unit 2. It's important to know that the word beat is often misused or simply misunderstood. People often use the word beat to mean pulse, rhythm or groove. For this video series, a beat is one part of a steady pulse. You might hear your music teacher or conductor count before the music starts. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. This is called setting the beat, so you know how fast or slow the beat is. It's especially important when lots of musicians are playing together, otherwise you can end up in a bit of a chaotic mess. Can you clap the beat of this music? And this? So to recap, music has a pulse when there are steady beats. However, if every note in music was only one beat long, it would be very boring. And that brings us to our next lesson, rhythm.